Hello everybody and welcome back for another Daily Dandy. I hope you're all doing well. Let me hit the start button here so we can start us up. I'm just gonna go ahead and spoil it for you guys, so if you uh, didn't see last episode, probably stop watching right about here and uh, go catch last episode so you don't have to be bothered by what I'm about to say. But on the last episode, I managed to get to the final boss and it actually has given us, and I'm just picking this completely arbitrarily because it never has mattered yet. Uh, we got to the final boss, and it's basically enlightened me to the fact that I actually still have no idea what those three things do. I thought, if I got really lucky, maybe it was a little smart about the whole thing, I could figure out some sort of correlation between what those three items might do versus where they come into play at any point in the run, and they have never have. I got to the boss, maybe if I kill him something happens, but like, I thought that was the final boss, right? So like, what am I gonna do with an item after the end? Does it loop back around? Is the goal to defeat each track? I don't, I don't understand. Also, on a rather unrelated note, well, semi-unrelated note, I, it made me wonder a little bit about lore. Uh, because when I did the one stream where I actually had the one of the de uh, developers from Dandy show up, he mentioned that when I get to the end of the game, there would be a slight amount of information given. So I was thinking, well, the final boss looks like one of these candy people statues, and all of the statues that give me these uh, items are slain or, like, disfigured versions of these people. So I have to believe that one of these revolted against his other people. I'm gonna take the apple here and, and slain all the other ones in various grotesque ways, and this is their way of getting back at the person who's wronged them posthumously by giving me items so I can be the Avenger for the candied people who have turned to statues. I guess when you kill a candy person, they turn into stone. I'm not really sure how that works. I don't know, you know, the way that candy alchemy is manifested in actual reality, so it sounded a little bit like a rap lyric, didn't it? Um, anyway, I'm just going to keep my nose to the grindstone here and hope that I can have a run that's nearly as successful as the last one was. I mean, being honest, that was maybe a bit exemplary as far as runs go, but I am taking your criticisms to heart. I know some have mentioned that maybe it would be best if I didn't uh, fire constantly. I hear you all on that. I probably shouldn't fire constantly, but I, I don't honestly fire constantly. I fire sometimes out of desperation more than I should. But I'm very aware of the fact that, like, when I don't fire, that I'm gaining power again. Like, I just need to leverage that better. Had some skillful dodges there. The one thing I will totally grant you, though, is that I still don't manipulate the enemies on the screen well. Uh, there's a lot of various interplay between types of enemies and their colors and their tendencies, and I need to uh, exploit those at all possible opportunities. That's the best chance that I've got to get to the final boss uh, relatively unscathed, and ideally, uh, maybe completely unscathed, but I'm not sure when that's going to happen. Also, I'd like to test a theory that I have had proposed to me about the Narwhal characters, if we can run into one. I'd really love to not shoot those. Okay, here's one. The proposition was that if I don't shoot at them, they will not attack me. Now he's gonna go to sleep, eye turns black, he's still attacking me, I haven't shot a single time. So I'm going to lay that myth to rest. He just does three attacks and then goes back to business, uh, goes to bed, I guess bed business, uh, then resumes in the path that he was just on. So right, there's another thing down out of the rumor mill. These guys, we know for a fact they go to sleep. There's no doubts there. If I don't fire at them, they don't fire at me, and that's okay. We can get along that way. Also, somebody said they wanted to see, when I pause the game, that it shows me the items that I've picked up so far. There you go, they orbit my character. I did actually show that in another episode, but I think whoever it was didn't ha uh, happen to catch that one. So there you go. No, no harm in showing it again. It's a cool little feature, and it's uh, quite useful, in fact, if we're trying to put together a path to greatness based on our items. It's, sometimes it's good to know these things. Alright, so here's a synergy where I don't feel a great amount of danger. We've got a, a variety of enemies that are not going to probably bother me unless I bother them. This, however, may be a bit more risky, but we managed to get out of it okay. And we're at our next heart statue, or our next uh, statue in general. What is the leaf here? I don't actually remember this one. I think this is the one that gives me an extra heart container and also ups my damage when I take damage, so I think that has to be the way I go. Full health feels better, right? Okay. 
and it gave me an anchor. So it's encouraging me to make it to the next item pedestal or statue uh, having full health. So the trade-off here being, well, maybe next time if I don't get a way to heal, I'll want to take that heart in the center and get the ability to uh, take care of more damage that way. Also, when I shoot those marshmallows and they all come flying at me, I'm doing so with the knowledge that chances are a lot of them are going to rush and I'm not going to be able to shoot them all. I don't actually mind if they rush me. It's just as easy for them to rush me as it is for me to shoot them most of the time. So they can feel comfortable to do that if they'd like. It's all good. Okay, we got a few shield guys. See, like, this is another example right there. I let them all just kind of pass overhead. I didn't have a lot of other enemies in the field that I had to worry about, so I just kind of let them do their thing. And we'll wait. Maybe I should do more of that. Oh, see? I get a little worried, though, when I don't shoot enough that I'm going to run out of time, I'm going to get overpowered and not be able to... And I talked about this in another episode, I think, the, the Voldemort, uh, Voldemort laser beam situation. Or, you know, you could substitute that with, like, the Naruto laser beam situation or the Dragon Ball Z laser beam situation. The point being, I'm shooting a thing, they're shooting a thing. Which one of us has greater power and consistency to defeat the other? Uh, that's the question that's uh, still remaining to be answered in some of these situations, and when I'm a little bit ambiguous about what the answer will be, I don't like to insert myself in the way of the bullets that I'm not sure that I will be able to deflect and or destroy in time. So, granted it might not always be the best uh, choice, I might make the wrong decision on occasion, but ultimately I think I do have the right idea in mind. You know, it's better off to play it safe, is kind of what I'm after on that. And I do generally try to go out of my way to play it safe most of the time. Okay, be careful we don't splatter a health friend here. I'd like to believe that eventually I will have some sort of dandy nomenclature, uh, which I also really like saying, by the way, just that by itself. Uh, I will have some sort of dandy nomenclature down for most of these enemies so that we can quickly identify them and speak about them without much difficulty. Uh, this grape's got a pop. There we go. So we've got grapes, we've got seahorses, we've got marshmallows, we've got narwhals, health friends. I think we're well on our way, actually. I didn't realize quite how much of this we'd already established. All right, that's probably going to hurt. Oh, I got really lucky there, actually. I shouldn't have let it come to that, but since it did, got to play with what we've got. Uh, that's too many grapes. Too many grapes of wrath. Pop one, pops the other. Pop the grape, pop the world. You know. All right. What do we have here? Oh, we've got coffee or we've got lime. I'm going to go coffee for the instant damage up and wiggle worm effect. Shaky hands equals more power. Plus, I love how demented it makes my character. Look at his sweet arms. Look at the muscle that he's thrusting that, uh, that anchor. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. I saw it and I couldn't stop myself. See, this is, this is a situation where I would grant you that you're correct that I'm firing too much. I should have had more restraint, I shouldn't have been going so readily after the enemies that had only just entered the screen without seeing the situation yet. I caused myself a little bit of grief there. It's not, hopefully, the kind of grief that will end my run, but it's enough grief that, well, it could come into play later as a bit of a problem, especially if I have a few bad, you know, realms of running into enemies. Uh, I still don't know what we're even calling these phases screens, I don't know, whatever. You can you can come up with your own ideas for what you want me to call screens. Uh, meaning one instance of combat, one phase of combat, I guess. Although within the screens, there are sometimes multiple phases of combat as new enemies tend to phase in for combat. I think you know what I'm talking about, I hope. Oh, I lived. I am very lucky on that one. All right, this is the moving guy. He's not going to help you lift your couch, but he is going to give you a sweet shield. Alright, advanced strats there, shooting narwhals with the reflected shields. What could be greater than that? Not a whole lot, I'll tell you right now. You know, every now and then I hear my commentary, sort of from a, an external, like, behind-the-curtain perspective. I go, how much of Northern Lion have I assimilated into my personality? I watch a lot of his Isaac episodes, and I, I just hear myself sort of regurgitating tonalities and intonations that he's already done, and I'm like, what, how derivative can I be as a human being here? Come on now. Just because we both like to play games that are about shooting circles at other weird, strange enemies, like, come on. The randomized, I get it. We're both our own people. Hopefully you know that. Oh. 
Okay, we're good. About halfway through this phase. Easy peasy on this one. Oh. Clear it. Beautiful. Got a three stack. No big deal. These guys are just going to jump right into my bullets, so I don't even have to try on them. And now, the pacing of this portion is starting to feel a little bit slow, if only for the fact that it's not super challenging. It's more about me stopping and looking than shooting, which I don't know why, but I just got in this habit, I guess maybe from playing, like, a ton of R-Type and Gradius and Raiden and, well, Raiden, I don't know what you call that game. Uh, Gyrus, Guardian Legend, you know, top-down shmups or side-scrolling shmups. Either of those, I got very much into the habit of always shooting, and it's not the best. No! Oh, you screwed me, shield dude. That's not cool at all. I wasn't even gonna shoot that one, and the freaking shield made sure it happened anyway. What a drag that is. All right, well, no big deal. Let's keep moving, keep our held, heads held up high, and not shoot our... Okay. Moment of respect for that golden heart that was laid to waste. Right in front of your very eyes. We're gonna do this, though. We're gonna do this. Did I mention already how Honeycomb would be a great synergy for the final boss? Somebody in the comments mentioned that, and it's like, you're so right. That is kind of the counter for this situation. To have a much smaller hitbox is actually really useful on that boss. Cool. I hope we can get back to it. Again, I guess I should really not say it's the final boss. I don't know 100%, but I'm, I'm assuming it is based on... Oh god, health friends are everywhere! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, it's beautiful. Look at my sweet giant freaking attacks. My giant candies. They're so big. Uh, banana or orange? I don't remember what orange does. I'm gonna try orange in this case. Pierces right through their fleshy body. Oh, this could be great. It could be great, but unfortunately Dandy has stopped working. Oh no. Come back to me, Dandy. Don't close the program. Oh, the program is closed! Alright, I'm not too thrilled about that. We had the makings of a potentially fantastic run there, and, uh, well... Bugs will happen, I grant you this. It's just unfortunate when they happen like this. I guess we may as well do another run. Because that, well, it just was too unfortunate to let it go. Maybe we'll run into, like, a new item or something on this run, just to sort of round it out. I couldn't handle the orange. The orange was too good for you? You're too good for your home? Right, I took the seed pod this time. Again, one day. Maybe we'll figure out what that means. <sighs> Alright. Sorry, it was demoralizing. I gotta get over it. It's not the end of the world. There's gonna be plenty more good dandy runs. It's just... I had the momentum. I had, I had hope. I had dreams. But, well... I've been sent back to sort of an infancy state, and now my hope is that this next human being that I've birthed into the world, uh, you know, not actually, obviously, but metaphorically birthed into the world, is, is, we're gonna send the living embodiment of those hopes and dreams on forward into this character. The only downside here is, like, if we had at least died, I would have maybe gotten one of those power-ups back. In this case, we don't. We get the Moo Moo Milk, or we get the Marshmallow... Take the Moo Moo Milk. I like whatever that is. Just like Mom, health up. I, whatever that item is, like that, that little, like, milk bun, I want to find out more about that object, and I want to see what it tastes like, because I've never eaten a milk bun before, if that's what that actually is. I imagine there's entire world's worth of confections that I've never even seen or heard of. I mean, they've got those, like, Japanese candy boxes, I mean, to name one culture that there are many candies, specifically a, a candy-obsessed culture, let's be honest. Uh, but there's hundreds of different cultures, all with their own sense of confections. And imagine, we could go to different realms of Candy World in this realm of its own, right? We could go to, you know, the, the Finnish Candy World, and maybe that could be like one realm within uh, the larger scope of, of Candy World. I, I don't know where I'm going. The hope is maybe we could see, like, again, this is just pie-in-the-sky spitballing of crazy ideas, 
we could see sort of like uh, Mario World style sections to the game. It's like now we've entered Chinese Candy World, and then all of the pe uh, pickups that we could get are sort of themed by that. I don't know how I'm supposed to shoot those. I guess I just had to hope for the, the single shot and manage to pull it off there. But how cool would that be if you could sort of make like culturally themed builds based on their own sense of what good confections happen to be? I would make a jelly bean build, personally. I would get like the vanilla jelly bean and the root beer and like maybe the tangerine. We'd make like the orange creamsicle root beer float. That might be awful, actually, now that I think about it. I had actual mixes back in the day when I used to be a kid and thought about jelly beans for a lot of my day. Uh, now, unfortunately, now that I have the means to actually buy the jelly beans, the means for the beans, I, uh, I can't... Oh, two freaking hits there. That hurts. Now that I've got the means for the beans, I'm more worried about my freaking dental bill than I am about making my palate happy. So that's why I need candy-based escapism like the Dandy game, right? This is why we have things like this. All right, I can't believe I avoided damage there. It actually seemed impossible. I've still managed to do it. Cool. We've lived to candy another day. I hope I get to Candy Mountain, and there's a freaking unicorn there with a missing kidney or something. That's a joke that probably a lot of people won't even get because that video is dated now. All right, what are you? Oh, okay. I've got the opportunity for Honeycomb. I don't know if items can ever show up twice in the same run, but now that I know how powerful it is... Oh, but I really want both! How could you present me with this awful decision? I'm gonna take the one that makes my hitbox smaller right now. Tiny treat for a tiny new you. I'm a little baby. Look, I'm a little baby with a top hat. Aren't I cute? I need some damage, though, right now. I need to just wait it out. There we go. Thankfully, they give you a break, which is actually great for recuperating your damage ups. Like, if you just need to take a second, maybe think about your next plan of action, maybe just uh, chill back, just, just hold back a little ways, let your shots get a little larger, and then you can go after the big bad guy at the end, and it's not as big of a deal. You know, big shots for big deals. It's a circus of value, you get it. We've got lots of marshmallows in the house. Let's just fight these, like, one at a time-ish. I guess I can kind of rely on my dodging ability a little bit when it comes to the marshmallows. Like, I let them go everywhere most of the time, and it doesn't really scare me all that much. I mean, it should scare me a little bit, because they can kind of trap me in a corner, but it doesn't scare me a ton. I mean, very much the way that Ryan, I think, relies on always trading his health away in Isaac versus... You know, he wants damage real fast, he'll give away all his extra health immediately. I think I can kind of rely on my dodging ability early on, anyway. Uh, later we get into a lot of shaky territory, though, and that's when I think I need to have the, uh, not only the skills to pay the bills, but the items to, uh, quantify the bills that I need to pay. To continue that metaphor into a illogical realm. There's one thing that I think I'm okay at. Being illogical, you know? Taking a concept that makes perfect sense and then sort of morphing it or perverting it into a sense of uh, complete absurdity and irreverence. See, look at the fallen face in the desert. Now that we know that the Big Candy King is after everybody else, it puts so much of a dark vibe to all the rest of this stuff. Okay, we're popping grapes. That means we can't be further away or too far away from another item. Oh, this is bad. There's not getting out of that damage, I don't think. Pop the grapes. And I thought if I was real lucky, maybe it would just land in such a position as to kill that seahorse too, but no luck. I will take this grape. There we go. And any health friends around? Nope, we're gonna pop the grape instead. Cool, so far so good. I mean, not exactly, because I've taken a whole bunch of damage, but in the last few waves, uh, things could have gone worse, I guess. There we go, chain reactions. Love them. Oh, that did not pop that one. And item? Yes. See, so the other ones had, like, stuff going on. This one just has a snake. 
One had a sword through its head, one of them had its heart ripped out, or was holding its own heart. Is there further symbology? Is there some sort of, like, biblical rev relevance to this? Anyway, I got the Ego, which is one of my favorites. As you may remember, the longer I go without taking damage, the more powerful my tears become, or the more waves of enemies I take out without taking damage. Uh, so this could be the catalyst for a comeback. I don't have nearly the health capacity potential that I had last time. Well, not capacity potential, but the, nearly the health that I had last time. Uh, but we've got to see what we can do with the next statue. Maybe there's still hope for me yet. I certainly like to hope that there's hope. Because if you don't have hope for hope, then what are you going to hope about, right? It's just going to be a freaking circle of disappointment. Into some Nietzsche. Nietzsche. How do you even say that freaking Russian philosopher's name? Nietzsche. I think that's the closest I've gotten so far. Oh, right. Thinking is a part. Yeah, so I fall back on these momentary lapses of judgment that are basically just my motor skills taking over for my head because my head goes on to thinking about talking mode and then my hands are just like all right you, you run the show over there i'll take care of the show over here we'll meet in the middle somewhere at the end we'll need to hit stop recording and uh that's kind of where we'll go with this whole thing cool unfortunately though that doesn't always work out the best at moments when i need to actually combine the heads and the hands you know, prior to stopping the recording. Okay, staying still at this one. Thinking about what I'm shooting at. Thinking about what I'm shooting at. Yes, got it. Thinking about it, shooting it. Thinking about it, shooting it. Grabbing it, shooting it. Nope. Confusing it. Deflecting it. Shooting it. Look how big my bullets are. I've grown up. I might be a little baby boy, but my bullets are huge! Alright, well, that just got a little weird. No, I didn't move there. You didn't see a thing. I think my bullets are about as big as they're gonna get, and I think I'm one-shotting nearly everybody, so... Yeah, let's just take advantage of that opportunity as best as possible. What would I like now to really seal the deal on this? Well, I mean, who wouldn't want cheese here? Uh, the more health potential I've got, the more I need to not worry as much if I take a hit. So, that basically defined survivability as a function of gameplay. Yep, that's that's a thing. Alright, use the shields to take him out, sure, why not? And done. Oh, health friend, yes please. Two health friends, no! That was... Did I just kill another one? I barely got to even see what was coming off the edge of the screen there. I can also say with nearly 100% certainty that health friends only spawn when red demon friends are there. Alright, orange did me dirty last time, so I'm going to try taking the double split apples again. For double the fun, now I'm a little sprouty apple boy. With those apple bottom jeans, maybe. With the boots with the fur? I don't know. I don't know what people wear when they go to the club to drop the base. Do they still drop the base these days? I know they were doing a lot of the EDMs, right? Which I have to believe is just like a drug. No, I know it's like electronic dance music, I'm just saying. The kids though, right? The kids? We don't know about these? I'm 30. I don't what what do I know about anything? I'm not relevant. Might have an okay cloud score for the moment, but, you know. If you start out when you're 12, you're going to be able to beat me in like two years. Because I don't have that many years up on you. The young man's game. Alright, where am I going with this? Let's fight more dudes. How about that? Split shot apple. I like the way you work. No diggity. That dated me, if anything. I mean, I had good damage before. Now that it's doubled, how could I be upset about this? My ability to dispatch things on the screen is actually so useful and effective, I feel like I have much higher survivability just by the fact that I don't have to fight things for very long. And I like it. Split Shot also makes those guys a lot easier, the Juicy Jigglers. 
These guys can't fill up with these uh, apple shots fast enough. Beautiful. Let me stay out of the way. When I take a hit, though, it's gonna really spiral hard, so I've gotta make sure I'm ready for that moment. Okay, this is where we get ready for that moment. Uh, this is a bad idea, what I just did. Yep, the hit came from me of all places. There's a second one. I really need to take out this guy, since they're still together. Try and capitalize it. It probably only takes me like four or five screens before I can get back to good amounts of damage, so... It's not the end of the game, it's just, uh, it's the end of this game. And by this game, I mean this very moment's worth of gameplay. I'm still, I'm lamenting the loss of that earlier run that I just wish I could have seen come to fruition before my eyes. It was just thrown away. It was a senseless loss of life. Senseless, mindless indulgence, mindless, selfless, you know. I know they're called mindless self-indulgence, I was making a reference to one of the songs on their album. Anyway. Okay, Jelly Jiggler's not so bad right now. My shots are looking very powerful again. Yes, 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 we're doing a wiggle waggle pattern. And we're about to fight the wiggle worm. The worm of worms has come to terms with the fact that I'm about to wreck him, like Ralph. I've said that a few times before in other series. All right, look how much damage we just did already. Yes! Oh, dig in, baby! You got damage in spades, let it shine! All right, I think one more phase of this, and I think we've already reached a GG moment. Yes, we have. Beautiful! Now, don't keep shooting too long. I'm gonna accidentally take an item from the item statue that I'm not ready for. Marshmallow or lime? What do I want here? Marshmallow is... What? I don't even remember. That's like extra health or something, right? Take the lime? My damage is so good, though. I gotta take the marshmallow. Temporary fix for a bigger problem. Oh, it's, it's a whole bunch of those, right? It's fluff. That's what I've got to remember. It's Marshmallow Fluff. Now these guys, though, I think they might only come at me when I shoot at them, though. Let's test it real quick. Are you... Are you bored by me? Yeah, you're not moving. I go in front of you? You don't mind. Only when I shoot does it dodge down. Okay. Only when I shoot is it a problem. So if I just don't shoot, I can take a moment and regroup. Like right now. Oh. Scary business. I think I actually made the right decision about the marshmallow, which is a great sentence that I love saying, like, all day. The marshmallow is not a bad decision. Can I ask you how you feel about s'mores these days as potentially an adult? I I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to the, uh, the adults in my demographic specifically, if you don't mind. I'd like to hear everyone's opinion, but as an adult, I feel like the concept of s'mores has gotten... It used to be one of the best ideas you could have, right? Take some graham crackers, marshmallow, melted chocolate, put it all together, and what you've got is an absolutely delicious sandwich that is uh, full of calories and, uh, and sugar. And, uh, well, now what I see this as is incredible amounts of pain in my teeth, unfortunately. And maybe this is just part of the unfortunate realms of getting older, but... Uh, dental health is actually like one of those pressing matters that when you're worried about your income You need to really be moderating your own dental health because dentists will suck all of the money out of your entire bank account If you give them one freaking inch and, and that's the position that I'm in right now. So hey, yeah, everybody leave a like on this video, please because I, I appreciate it uh, No, I, I'm kidding, but I don't even know if honestly that does matter these days. I was told in the past that leaving likes on videos helps engagement, and the engagement stat drives uh, relevancy. Relevancy drives how often things show up as recommendations. I believe that might be old info, so honestly, I don't even know anymore if that's the case. If you have any better info than me, like I've read the YouTube playbook, uh, and I've read lots of Reddit threads of people who don't know what they're talking about talk about things. But if you know what you're talking about, and you have a cited source, I'd love to hear your, uh, what you have to say on that. 
Can we reflect some of these bullets up at this other guy here? That would be great. Nope. Anyway. Yeah, I want to know what you think about s'mores. If you're at a campfire and you can actually, like, roast the marshmallow and get it all toasty, maybe that's a whole different scenario, but I'm talking about, like, the cheap s'mores. The ones that, like, they might not even be toasted at all. Maybe you're just dealing with, like, dry uh, elements to your confectionery sandwich. Oh, let's take the coffee. I like this. This could be good. We've got a similar couple of items, I think, to last time. I actually forgot what I had last time. So that's actually a good sign. It means the morning period has ended. Uh, we can maybe put that run to rest. You know, I, I went through all of the stages of denial, grief, anger, all of those things, and I'm finally reaching some sort of level of acceptance. And it's okay. There will always be more runs. Human life will continue to live on, and I needn't worry. I feel like as much as that talk seems super out of place, there's like a very dark center to uh, Dandy as well. I think that some of the hints have been dropped, that there might be some underlying macabre sense going on to this. I'd still, I'd love to hear some lore theories if you'd like. Uh, this would be a good place in the comments actually to shout out your lore theories. I'm curious, and I hope that there is developed lore that happens over the course of this game and uh, possibly universe's existence. I would love to know more about all of this. All right, so I've got what I need right now. I'm a small baby with really good damage and a lot of health. What more could I want? All I need to do now is make it to the end, and everything's going to be coming up uh, Millhouse, as uh, as they say. You know. Out for this angry orange. It used to be an angry bird, so it's an angry orange. It just depends on the mood of the moment, I suppose. And now we've got the longest episode yet. People are going to be looking at the timeline and being like, Hey, what happened here? Did he beat the boss and then continue on to beat the game again? Well, you'll see. You'll see what I do with the boss if I get to the boss. We'll find out together, because I haven't, I haven't seen any new information that you're not appraised of at this very moment. We're actually, we're experiencing this together because of the linearity of uh, time is the case that we're uh, subjected to. If any of you have a way to uh, not be subjected to the linearity of time, I would be interesting, uh, interested in hearing your comments as well. I feel skeptical about the truth of that, if that is the case, but if you can somehow prove it to me, then by all means, chime in. I believe that there is a one million dollar James Randi prize for you if you can predict the future too. So uh, it's actually in your best interest to go ahead and and uh, come forward. I don't know actually if the James Randi Foundation is still doing that contest, but they were doing it for ages, so it would be weird for them to have just stopped out of nowhere. Uh, the premise being that if you had any kind of like supernatural powers or could prove anything uh, in scientific conditions, that you would be rewarded with that huge amount of money. It's a, it's a fantastic bargaining chip when it comes to uh, people spouting things that they don't have any foundation for. Because you can go, hey, well, no, if you're if you're telling the truth, you have a stake in it. You could be making a ton of money, so why don't you go do that? Right? And then it, the onus is on them to go ahead and go claim their money. Because why wouldn't they want that money? There's there's no reason. I mean, even if they don't want it personally, they could donate that money to a worthy cause, and there are plenty of worthy causes. In fact, to not do so would be uh, would be a huge disservice to all of humankind. Okay, this is a rough spot. I had to stop shooting there and still not take damage. I wasn't able to do this. These guys are really getting my goat these days. I believe this is my new Everest, these fellows. Oh, I want that heart, friend! I managed to not get hit again, so we're still in a good place. I have full health. You know, by the stipulations of my former items that, while well, I still control, they're not former in that way. Okay, let's, yep, shoot through the straightaway shots. I hit something, that's good. Little by little, we'll whittle and whittle. Here it goes. I'm a whittle baby, see? I whittle. Oh, this is terrifying. Okay, nobody faces up. Uh, they all faced up. This is an okay spot right here for me. I've just got to find a pocket and then exploit it. 
Even as a little baby, it's not gonna be good enough. Okay, I barely broke through that one. And let's let this one face in a weird direction. Perfect. Fill her up, Gus. No more. No more. I've seen enough. You've made your case. You guys are very persuasive with your bullet antics. I get it. Now please stop existing forever. And we can all get on to a better life. You're doing it again. You're being cheeky. Oh my god, I walked into it now. I don't even have full health anymore. That was poor play. 100% poor play. I will own that. Yep, more damage there. This is getting very chaotic. Some of these groupings can be really detrimental to my well-being. Do I get another item, or is this the end? I think I get one more statue, right? I've only ever made it to this point once before. Let's maybe not shoot so blindly, because, like, some health would be really great right now. Although, theoretically, if I can make it to the final boss... In just the right circumstances, which I do have honeycomb, I have a smaller hitbox. Maybe if I'm real lucky, I might actually have a shot at it anyway. Just stop taking hits for a while, my damage is gonna go back up. I'm gonna feel more capable, I'm gonna be able to clear screens faster, we're gonna get the momentum back. I may not have the extra damage bonus from full health, but, you know, let bygones be bygones, I can't help everything here. Uh, okay. I'm a little worried about how that guy was gonna turn. Okay, this is working. This is working. I'm shooting wildly again. I can't seem to help myself. Please? Alright, Jelly Jigglers. Oh no! Why, oh why, did he swallow the fly? I don't know what to do about these guys. They're swimming around in a place where I can't really get to them very easily. I don't want to interject. But I might have to... There we go. I made this... Oh my god, I still missed that shot! These freaking guys made that super awkward. Oh, we've got... Angry Louse friend. What do we call these guys? I forget. Rhinoceros Beetle. We've got Cockademons with their devil horns. Trying to tell me lies in the form of triple shots. Problem. I think we got these under control. Okay, now give me a lot of health, please. Somewhere along the road, just give me all the health. And we can come back and win it for the US of A. Oh, is this the part we go through the long, long, narrow road? How did I do on health here? I did actually, uh, sorry, not health, damage. I managed to get just enough. I think by the time that we fight the boss, we're actually going to be okay. I'm going to get a full health pickup, right, from the owl before we go in. So there's some potential to this. I'm going to go through a thunderstorm as well. I wonder if shooting these clouds actually does matter at all in any possible way, or if I'm just wasting everyone's time by doing that. Well, I mean, I'm not wasting any time. Actually, I was going to travel past them regardless. Any day now. Is this just like cooldown period? Or were there meant to be enemies there and they just haven't been put in yet? Maybe it's just to give you a feeling of scale or something. Alright, here we go. Wish me luck. We're gonna fight the Candyman himself. Oh, I can't see my shots, though. That's kind of weird. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm doing good damage. As soon as I take a hit, though, that's going to really plummet, unfortunately, because it's going to be two different effects that I'm going to lose at the same time. And I hate that. So let's just not get hit at all. And he's going to do another phase soon enough. I'm... Crap. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay. Okay. I think I have piercing shot right, so I should be able to still hit through. I think I'm actually reflecting my own shots somewhere in here, which is bad news. Oh god, those dodges though. I had a couple really good ones in there. Did you see those? Yep. Keep keep back at it. Get back on that chest. Test his chest, Loveless. If you can't stand the heat, get out the wild 
Wild West. It's unfortunate that I can never have better damage again. Well, I guess I could stop firing for a freaking second. That would actually help me a little bit. Since I don't get, like, a ton of time to fire on this, but there's the panic element that's like, just keep firing, right? Oh, here we go again. Oh, I can still hit him there. Okay, we've got another phase. This is a scary phase. A little bit more. A little bit more. I don't... Actually, it's maybe not as scary as I was giving it credit for a second ago. His head is spinning really fast! Oh, I think I've done it. His head is shot off into the galaxy. Is there a phase two? I'm ready for anything. Here we go. Oh, wait, is this... It's the candy! I finally understand! Action reaction to the brink and back. I just got two achievements. We beat it! You got what you came for. Leave now. Oh. Thanks for playing. Without fel fellow alchemists like you, Dandy wouldn't be possible. Aw, that's an adorable picture. Is that a kitty cat and a dog? Or is that two kitty cats? I can't tell. <laughs> Looks like a wolfy dog. All right, it looks like that's the that's the end. We finished one run of Dandy. And we got the candy. That was, what did I pick, the middle? Now I finally understand the relevance of those. I guess I managed to pull out a run even despite all of that frustration and lack of morale that I had early on. That was freaking great. That was 41 minutes of recording too. I didn't expect that to go that long. Goodness gracious. Well, I like to let the credits run out, just out of respect, considering this game is fantastic. Everyone should get to see all of the people responsible and get their proper due credit. But anyway, that was uh, my first win. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you'll leave a like if you did. And uh, we'll be back to try it again in a different uh, route. I don't, maybe I've added that chocolate to my pool now? Is that maybe what... What I was thinking maybe is actually the way it works. I don't know. Let's see. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great night. <laughs>